in the kitchen again with Chef Ricotta cooking show. It's amazing to be in the kitchen giving you a favorite recipe. Anyway, garlic crusher or garlic press. This one is this is the way it works. This is a garlic press. All right, get the clove of garlic and put it in it. Come here, go down, squeeze it, crush out, come out, perfect. But that one is gonna, that one is on the website at the moment. You can buy it and it comes straight to you anywhere in the world. All right. Second thing, I got some red brim. Just wash off into some lemon juice, scale, remove everything. It just clean up fresh and nice. Take a good look, guys. Um. This recipe is a very fantastic fine dining recipe. It's a fry fish. I know I'm gonna do fry fish, you know what I mean? But what I want to do is to get it marinated first before I fry it. So I'm going to be making this for my Sunday dinner. Yeah. I'm gonna be marinating now, to telling my fans them, or you can do your fry fish before. Marinate your fried fish before you even fry it. Put it on for it to soak. Come on, lovely, tasteable, nice, and all these things. So listen, guys, stay right there, watch this video. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel and all these things. It's just amazing to be in the kitchen with my fans. I love you all. Nice and lovely. So basically, as you can see, I have a lot of fish right here. And the first thing what I want to do is to show my fans them all my garlic crusher work or garlic press. Um, remember I told you you can get the garlic press to buy on my website See that look at that That is just lovely and nice guys. It's just amazing. Then I'm gonna just Scrape it in like this Open up the pack and that's how you know I'm gonna do it put in one cup of garlic And just You don't need to show yourself and I will cut up garlic and all these things Unless if the garlic is a little bit too thick, you just cut into half. Yeah, that's it. Well, I have a few cloves of garlic where I'm normally going to be using for my um, fish fry fish recipe because I love garlic, as you can see. And it just come out perfect, and that's what I like about this garlic crusher. Wait, yeah, that looks lovely. A few cloves of garlic. Well, I yeah, put on it. All right. So what I'm going to do now? I'm just gonna just crush these little one, this little piece, and just put it in it like that. Then we got one medium-sized white onion. See that? That's all we normally. Got a few pimenta seed. I'm gonna put a few pimenta seed on that. That's gonna bring a lovely flavor on it. Pepper. We got the Jamaican Valley season. We're gonna use some of the all purpose. Jamaican body fish seafood season. This is the fish season. Nice. Nice. I feel about three tablespoons enough. Yeah, that's how you normally marinate up your fish and put it down for it to soak before you even fry it. Put some oil on it. Roughly about two tablespoons of 
the vegetable oil or coconut oil it doesn't matter what oil you want to use so the most important thing is that you have to have on the gloves when you marinate the fish gloves is very important and take a little time because you don't want any bone to get in your hand so let's take a little time and marinate it up like this so that look nice all right Most of them want to chef I want to see where you fry this fried fish. But I have a lot of recipe on my YouTube channel you know, about fried fish. You know. So guys, don't afraid free. You feel free to just score down inside of it. And you know, yeah. As you can see, exactly what's going on right there. What I'm going to do, I got a little bit of um, Cajun season. I'm just going to put a little bit of Cajun season on it. That's gonna bring in a lovely flavor. Alright. Nice. Feel nice and lovely. Alright. Just a little pinch of salt, not too much. So now this is marinated. Um make gonna guys can see how oh, this looking at the board. Look at this. This is an amazing recipe. So that look nice. Yeah. This is I'm telling you guys, when you're, when you're marinating your stuff at home, when you're doing anything at home, please, once you marinate your fish or uh, anything, normally it's going to be coming up really lovely and nice when you marinate it, put it down for it to soak. And I use a Jamaican Valley season for it, so you must know exactly what I'm going. It must taste really nice and all these things. So please enjoy the recipe and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We've got a lot more recipes, a lot more ideas, and a lot more video will be coming out to do certain things at home in your kitchen before you even cook it. Marinate your fish before you even cook it. Alright? Lovely and nice. So enjoy it, subscribe, and leave a comment in the description box. And I will see you next time with more recipe. Bye-bye.